I have never drawn Judge Dredd before, so even just doing stripes in the comic book, they have four stripes on, on, the, on the shield. That's the problem with using reference online. Everyone kind of does it slightly differently. I feel like there's a business model to be had. A website where it's just costumes are us or something. Horrible name, but uh, the idea is that you go there and they just have turnarounds. Because <clears throat> all these characters, when they, especially when their movies made, they make turnarounds. They, they, they hire artists to uh, do turnarounds of all the, uh, the characters' costumes so everyone has the same reference to work off of. I guess it would be kind of boring. Matting onto the helmet, as you can tell. I think I got it, right? And you know what? Uh, some have more of a pronounced kind of hood on the top. That like a, almost like a battering ram on his forehead. I'm sure they use that in the comic. I would imagine. I'm like, oh, they should use that as a battering ram. They're like, dude, he does that every issue. X-ray vision. He should look through the walls, see where the bad guys are. He's got this red ribbon thing going on here. thing is the key to this character and that it juts out so it's going to hang out over the uh, the eyes there so I have to draw this first it's the, the thing that I have to work all the other perspective lines around segment the front part of the shield there. All right. And then that means this distance is going to be shorter than that distance. I'm just walking you through the process here. has a different kind of the thing through and it's over here I'm kind of working my way through it <clears throat> guys I, I am the law <laughs> I am the law I am the law 
His eye would be here, his nose would be there, his mouth would be here. And his chin would be... Oh, it's a long question. He's typing. No, no roasting, please. He ran away. Stone Cold 316, come on, man. <laughs> That's well put, well put. He he uh, alluded to the answer already. Uh, well, let me, let, me, let me sort out this, this mouth here. The answer is, uh, if you're good at drawing what you see, if you keep drawing it over and over, uh, it, you no longer need to see what you need to draw. You can draw it from memory, right? Imagination is a fancy word for visual memory, right? By, by definition, right? So is everything that we create, people are like, oh my God, here we go. Long ass answer. We like it better when you just say, just draw, dude. So the answer is, uh, can you truly draw anything from imagination if, uh, I, I think not. I actually think most things that people draw from imagination are, are, are mashups of things that, it, that exist in real life that they've experienced either subconsciously or consciously, right? You're either drawing, you're using insect technology, insect, uh, insect design uh, for armor, you're using hive, architecture for for building a weird alien city uh, you're using a, a painting you saw as reference for um, you know some sort of weird landscape etc 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 see you see where I'm going so uh, if you can draw from real life right um, you just need to do it over and over and over again and after a while you can just draw from the reference that you have in your head, right? If you think about what you're actually doing when you look at a picture, you're looking at an object and saying that's a forearm and that forearm line goes like like this and the other part of the forearm goes like this and that makes a fist, you know, you put the fist down here, okay? And you're looking at a picture to do that. Eventually you take the picture away, you should be able to visualize that in your head and you're basically telling yourself, okay, the forearm line goes down like here, that's where the wrist goes, et cetera, et cetera, right? Does that make sense? How is that for an answer? <clears throat> but you can figure you gotta draw a lot to build up that visual memory and you need to uh, draw a lot of different variety of things, right? So not just male figures, but female figures, not just adults, but children, uh, not just, you know, warehouses, but uh, office buildings, not just office buildings, but uh, asteroids. Uh, over, uh, you know, at this point, I feel like I've kind of drawn a little bit of everything. Judge Dredd. Drawing off panel. Gotta love that. How the hell is that possible? Must have not talked as much. 
for sure the chattier I am, the, the slower I draw. That's a fact. No need to confirm that. Common knowledge. I am embarrassed to say I've never read a Judge Dredd comic book story. I think the closest I came to was that Simon Bisley uh, Batman J Judge Dredd crossover from like the 90s, 80s. I can't remember when that was. I think I was just a fan still. I can't even do it, Judge. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'll work on that bit. I will watch Judge Judy. I've never seen Judge Judy either. I just know that she's on TV. If I could do a good Judge Judy impersonation. I have this theory that people are very, <coughs> that are good at impersonations are good at for speaking foreign languages. Like Lee Bermeo learned Italian. His Italian is really great. But he also does like damn good impressions. Not, not like of famous people, but you know, regular people. And he was doing, uh, I think he was doing an impression of me once and I, I couldn't handle it. I was like, no, 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 you gotta stop. It was, uh, it was freaking me out. Weird forearm <clears throat> tattoo gone. I have an Arnie accent. Very, I have like one basic Yoda impersonation, Darth Vader, one line. It's a very small repertoire. Oh, I, I have a PK, Poop Kid impersonation. Trust me. I want people to continue watching the stream. It's like the uh, old mantra from when uh, Clinton ran for president, right? It's the economy stupid, right? It's it's the art stupid. It's not the uh, Jim Lee improv hour. Again, the third person. Stop. Stop. If you guys ever use the Waze app, at one point they, was it Commando? I forgot what movie. They basically use like a celebrity voices to give you voice directions and like make a right, make a right if you want to live or something. And Schwarzenegger was pretty good. All your reproductive organs will retreat into the body cavities that they came from. It's that hor horrendous. Uh, the way to do um, metallic is uh, get a brush, load it up. Maybe dry brush it. 
kind of squish it down, smooth it around. Think of a painterly kind of water impressionistic kind of vibe you're going for. Third person again. Uh, yeah, no, that's how to draw to use my imagination. Think of your imagination or your verbal or verbal. Uh, your it, it exists. It is a thing that you can improve. And it's like um, like anything else, right? If you ever want to learn, if you can look at something, draw, and go like, I know how to draw a forearm. As soon as you take that forearm away, it's like, ah, oh, crap, I don't know how to draw the forearm. The, the truth is you do know how to draw the forearm. It's in here, you have to unlock it. And the way you unlock it is through practice and forcing your brain to rely on that mental image that you, it is buried in your head that you choose not to access or you have difficulty accessing. So, uh, good try, Wasserm CCG. I know you work for the, uh, the, uh, the beverage industry. And asking questions at the DMV. North Star likes, Northern Star likes my answer. Thank you, Northern Star. <laughs> Is there anyone at the DC DMV watching right now? We have our own DMV. That's true. I use very basic math. Come on, four times four. So it was that thinking that led me to uh, jettisoning all my reference books. Uh, or I was creating what's called a morgue file. Like artists back in the day would have this thing called a morgue file. And it was literally, literally, literally a file cabinet. And inside they would have like folders like cars. And they would have clippings of photos from magazines of cars. And they had like jungle. And they would have like a folder called Jungle, and inside would be foot, you know, cut out pictures from National Geographic. And they would spend hours, or maybe they'd have their assistant spend hours just clipping images of cool reference, so that if they ever needed to draw a football stadium, or a spaceship, you know, or a tank, they would go to their morgue file and find a photo. I mean, this think about this. I mean, this is literally an analog version of Google Images. I mean, it's uh, this is it's barbaric. That's what it is. <sighs> anyway. Uh, so even before Google, I realized that A, I didn't want to uh, spend half my life clipping photos of, of objects that I might use in, in, a, in an illustration. And uh, uh, two, I didn't want to always be drawing, like, I didn't want to have to be attached to my tools or my office to be able to draw because I envisioned kind of drawing on the road and you know wherever I was and uh, n not being OCD about uh, the tools that I use and uh, so I, I don't know if I trained myself but I, I kind of forced myself to, to move beyond that comfort zone <clears throat> And then I just said, okay, I can, I can, if I can remember physics formulas, I mean, I should be able to remember what a stupid dentist office looks like. I go there twice a year. All right, I should be able to draw a car from memory. I see a car nearly every single day. All right. If I can imagine an ice cream cone and draw all the details from the cone down to the texture of the, uh, the sides, to the little lip at the top, height, width, size, scale, all that, should be able to draw a skyscraper. It's just like a big ice cream cone turned upside down. None of you would know, be wiser. <laughs> Actually, you know what? There's some very, uh, there are a couple academic types in the stream. Two minutes after I stop watching, I feel like I can just tear it up. 
then I log on and sadly <laughs> you know what I've gotten good at though is knowing what shroud would do in a situation that I encounter in PUBG like oh he would have just shot that guy and killed him oh he would have just shot that guy and killed him oh he would have jumped up in the air twirled around and shot that guy and killed him so I think that's what you get good at if you watch me stream a lot draw art you get good at, at knowing how I would draw something. It's because I do have to go in for a meeting today. Got uh, Brian Bendis is in town. Um, no secret, he's been uh, on social media kind of talking about his experiences walking around the archives. I've got a special uh, raid set up for later today as well. At the end of this, we'd like to end the stream by going to another stream and kind of uh, making our presence known. So what I'm doing here is cleaning up some of the uh, lines, adding detail, and then I'm going to go in with white out on the red hood and this Judge Dread. And in the remaining 20 minutes, I will try to do one more red hood kind of bus shot like this. And then we'll do the giveaway. We'll do we'll give away both the Judge Dread and the Red Hood, there'll be two giveaways for uh, sub fives. So it's not like one's a sub five, one's a sub ten. The way it works is, and in any given day of giveaways, if I do more than one, it goes to that category, right? Or does it? No, you know what? I've done it differently. Forget it. Forget. The, forget what I just said. Erase all that. I guess we just decide willy nilly, willy nilly. <clears throat> So today I'll have the Judge Shred and another Red Hood that I'm about to do, and those will be given away to sub fives, sub tens, sub sub twenty five. Anyone, anyone that subscribes. Next time will be sub tens. The time after that will be sub twenty five, and then back to anyone in chat. But even in the streams where we give away stuff to only sub tens or sub twenty five, sometimes I go ahead and draw like like this, you know, some random thing, a nose. Uh, some sort of brief side tutorial, and uh, we'll give those away to anyone in the stream. So there are more opportunities then. Kind of let on. Excuse me, 941. I got a busy day today. Very busy day. Any day before big travel day is a busy day here. Hello, the coral farmer. Are there people that actually farm coral? Or is, is he a farmer that lives in a town called Coral? shadow in here. Shimmer here coming off the, the helmet. Probably do something very similar actually for, for Red Hood.
clean up that line. You know, anywhere where the, uh, the ink kind of went over the line, it was always intentional. I knew I can go back in with this. Especially with whiteout, you can do some amazing kind of highlights. Uh, all right. Some cool reflection kind of stuff. And you can do it pretty fast, actually, as you can tell. Okay, so I definitely went over this, the shoulder element here. I'm just going with white out and pick those elements back out. It makes the original look a little gnarly because it's almost 3D. You'll, you can actually see the, the crusty white out. But the black and white and the version that get that would potentially get published per se, like in a, if you were doing this as a printed piece, um, they look good. And the whiteout really creates uh, more three-dimensionality, things that you couldn't do doing, well, it'd be very time-consuming to do uh, with uh, just black on white, white field. It's nice to be able to kind of draw white on black. Actually, that's pretty much done. I might add some like dits and dats here and there. 